Hello there, guys. Welcome back to another short online tutorial based in Illustrator. My name is Jack. I am one of the tutors at Blue Sky Graphics, and it's my absolute pleasure to welcome you here today. The reason why we are here, guys, is to discuss how would we use the blend tool in Illustrator and how we can create such a cool design as you can see in front of you here today. All we would need to do is create a blend and do something what we call, which is replacing a spine. OK, so what I'm going to do is let's create a uh, sort of new artboard, let's say using our artboard tool here. Uh, I'm just going to simply just add the little plus sign up here. Let's move that across like so. Let's move you here. There we go. OK, so what I'd like to do first of all is create a nice block color background. So I'm going to use the rectangle tool here. And let's say we like something like so. Okay, so what I'm gonna do first of all is bring out our swatches because I'm not a fan of that color. I want a bit, a bit lighter. Yeah, let's say about that, let's say. Now, what I wanna do is lock this uh, rectangle that I just created to this artboard. So the shortcut to do that is Command T on Mac or Control T on Windows. And then you have it locked to the artboard. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create an ellipse like so. Okay, and with this ellipse, what I'm going to do is apply a nice gradient to it. Okay, nice sort of light, light color, uh, gray, and a sort of a, a nice white color. Let's use my gradient tool here. Let's manipulate this just a little bit better, just so I can get it to the point I want it. Perfect. Now, what I'm going to do using the shortcut Alt on Windows or Option on Mac and just pressing Shift at the same time is I'm going to duplicate it across there like so and as you can see i have two ellipses now what i want to do is i will now would like to blend these two together so i'm going to set the both of them like so and i'm going to come to my blend tool which is situated here and i'm going to click and click now there's not enough steps at the moment between each blend so what i'm going to do is double click on the blend tool which will bring up my blender options I'm simply going to change the spacing to specified steps. And let's say we put in like some 600 steps in there. OK, and we're going to press OK. Now, as you can see, a lot smoother of a blend. Now, what I'm going to do is use my paintbrush tool. OK, I'm going to make sure my fidelity is smooth. So I'm going to double click on the paintbrush tool and I have my fidelity options here. I want Illustrator to help me. So I'm going to make sure my fidelity is at a smooth option. Now, what I'm going to do now is create a nice sort of brush stroke using the paintbrush tool. Like so. Let's remove the fill on that and let's remove the stroke on that also. So, as you can see, I have my stroke and I have my blend. Now, what we can do is really call this a spine. Because what we're going to do is we're going to select both elements like so. And then if I go to Object, Blend, I have Replace Spine. OK, so now if I replace the spine, there you can see that blend has replaced that particular spine. If you want to increase the size of these um, options within the blend here, so let's say we do a little bit of reversing like so. And I want to increase the size of our ellipse. So I'm going to use my direct selection tool, select it, and then we can increase the size a bit like so. I'm going to press option on a Mac or Alt on the Windows to resize from the middle and press shift at the same time. Perfect. And then if I was now to go view, trim, view, as you can see, I have created something very visually cool, simply using the blend tool and replace spine. Guys, if you're interested in finding any more about our school or anything like that, our tutors, our, our courses, please, please, please visit our website at blueskygraphics.co.uk. Also check out our Instagram at blueskygraphicsuk to see some of our uh, work by our main students. Take care, guys, and I'll see you next time.